All right, so this video is about a common problem that exists when technicians in the field replace a higher end thermostat that has dehumidification type controls in it, especially specifically dehumidification, with a typical truck stock thermostat that doesn't have these types of settings. So what a technician would do is they would say, okay, ma'am, your, your thermostat's failed. I've got one on the truck here that I can replace it with and it'll work just fine. Okay, great, customer accepts it. And so they go and they go to wire it up. And of course they know all these wires, what they all do. This is a heat pump. So we've got orange for the reversing valve, auxiliary heat for our heat strips, Y, Y1 for our contactor, G for our blower. And then we have our common and our hot. Then we've got these ACC and so we've got this ACC plus. Well, what is that? And so the technician says, well, this new thermostat doesn't support that. So they unhook it and they just push it back in the wall with a wire nut or whatever and figure that it's all fine and dandy. But we've got a couple problems here. So what happens here is in order for this system to dehumidify properly, when it's set up, they're going to remove this jumper. And so you can see this jumper is still there, but it's just only connected to one side versus being connected to both pins. See if you can see that there. Yeah, it's only connected to one half. And so what that does is, is now DH is not connected directly to R. On this system, if you don't have a 24 volt call, 24 volts present at DH, then the system will run in dehumidify mode, which is essentially just a you know, slower blower speed. And so if we wanted the blower to always run at full speed and not at that slower speed, then we'd have to put this jumper back. And all brands are the same, Train Linux, uh, Rood Ream, they all have some version of doing this when you have analog type controls, you know, 24 volt controls instead of communicating controls, which is what we've got here. This is a carrier FV air handler, performance series air handler. So it's still 24 volt controls, but these 24 volt signals then impact the board, which then changes the calls that it's gonna to send to the blower to change blower speed. And one of the main ones is this DH call. So when we have 24 volts present on DH, it will run at full speed. And when we do not have 24 volts present at DH, it will run at a reduced dehumidification speed. So if we pull this thermostat off the wall and we cap this wire, what's gonna happen is we're never going to have any 24 volts at DH because there's no jumper and now this wire is connected to nothing on the other end. And so we're always going to run at reduced speed blower, which means we're always gonna run a colder evaporator coil. We're always gonna run closer to freezing. And in a lot of cases, that's not a desired uh, circumstance. So what we would have to do if you replace a thermostat like this with a typical thermostat that does not have these controls, which again, you, you got to talk to the customer about that, see if that's what they want. But if you do that, y yes, you are going to lose your dehumidification, but you want to run at full speed, which means you got to take this jumper or whatever factory jumper was originally in there that was cut or whatever and, and place it back in place. So that would be just a matter of pulling this out, pushing it back in place there. So now that's going to stay running at full speed. If I want dehumidification, then I, then I reconnect it to only one pin, so that way it's not connected across there. So most of them are going to go between R and DH. With this jumper, if you want dehumidification mode, you have to remove the jumper, connect it back to a control that will purposefully de-energize a wire. In this case, this is a, a core, which is you know made by Ecobee, and so you'll see similar setups in Ecobee. That's the Accessory Plus. So when it de-energizes Accessory Plus, it's going to go into dehumidification mode. And when it energizes it, it's going to run full speed. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps. Talk to you next time.